Adam the vlog. Adam birthday vlog. Adam day. Me. My bad. We're running act one today, guys. Act one today, guys. Act one today, guys. I'm like one of the only people that watches these, but yeah. We just did forever. It was it was pretty good. I like watching it. I'm so good at watching it. Turn it on. Hi, bye. There's oh, David. Where are you, Ethan? <laughs> I'm vlogging for Ethan. Hi. Hi, Carter. Hi, Carter. That's me in the vlog, Jay. Ew. Ew. It's Ethan's vlog. Take this back. Look at this. Wait, that's sick. Oh my god. What is <laughs> that? A dodecahedron is a 12 sided 3D object. That is true. The treadmill was invented in 1818. That's probably true. I don't know. You know her shoulder? Yes. Thanks. Want well, to know a fun fact? Penguins are into necrophilia. Platypuses fun fact, penguins commit acts of prostitution for pretty rocks. Platypuses are the only mammals that lay eggs. Platypuses don't have nipples, they sweat milk. <laughs> <laughs> for the rocks or the necrophilia? Oh, Answer carefully. <laughs> Answer very carefully. <laughs> he says the rocks. Oh, guard, bust down! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have a lot of people, but people we don't know. We can't keep track of who watches. Don't cut me out. Wait, that's for Gina. Oh my gosh, hi Gina Archives channel. Hi, hi. We don't fight guys. Penguins have knees. They're just stored in their bellies. Huh? Valuable penguin facts. Can I, Carter? We're still doing fun facts, are we? Yes. Giraffes are incapable of vomiting, and if they do so, they will die. I think mice are also not capable of vomiting. They aren't. They cannot vomit. That's why rat poison works. Rat poison. For all your rat poison needs. If you guys have ever seen Glee, you're going to like this. I love Glee! Can you, like <laughs> can you can, do you want to recreate the Santana a Quinn fight from season one or two? Oh, this is a theater. This is a theater YouTube channel. We might want to do some theatrical Wait, things. are we talking about Ninjago? No, Glee. Um, no. There's a lot of yelling. There's a little bit of cussing, so like... Ina doesn't have a YouTube, a family friendly channel. So they like, say it's okay. poopy head and. Um, they say stupid. poopy head. <laughs> they say you're a meanie. <laughs> you're a bad person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. You're my right home. That was a reaction. Huh? If you guys have any other animal facts to share, <laughs> let here. Ina know and then have her tell me because I'm we interested. Will, we will get the we will get the animal facts in here at some point. What other animal facts do I know? I don't know a lot. I only know a lot of fun facts to be honest. I learned the platypus one I'm from stuck Phineas here and until Ferb. Six. I learned a lot of things things from Phineas and Fur. This is from was very valuable to me. I learned a lot from it. Oh, that's just like <laughs> five minutes long. We can oh, edit it God. down. It's okay, guys. You know, they're not cut any of this out. Everyone deserves to know that will, penguins are in a necrophilia. <laughs> and, and Nathan the, is the, supposedly just like them. And the mammals, uh, <laughs> platypuses are the only mammals that can lay eggs. Yeah. Valuable. Ready, Carter? You did this to me! You told Colt Sylvester on my summer surgery! You have a surgery when you get your appendix out! You got a boob job! Yep, sure did! Uh, you can't hit me! Uh, sure I can! Unless you got yourself knocked up again, slut! Uh, stop the violence! Uh, hey, what am happened to this being a family? Oh, please! She has a family! She's a mother! Walk away! And tighten up before you tighten up your butt before you get to class! And see. that concludes! Okay, I'm joined here with Hannah. We're gonna do a quick little interview. We are here with... Uh, my name's Jaquan Wave Williams. Oh, yes, that is actually exactly his name. Now we are here with... I'm Cece. I play Queen Lillian, and then I'm also the dad. Ooh, we haven't been doing roles, but I'm Big Bad Wolf. And I'm a villager! You know, how long have you been doing theater? I've been doing theater for about eight years now. I started when I was like... Five, and then I quit in between for like a few years because I was busy with other stuff. And now I'm back in the game from last year. That's so nice. I don't know actually, because I've done a lot. I've done shows outside of school, but I've done a, a lot of what I've done has been with the school. What have you learned in your time as a theat as a theater actress? The actress. I have learned the actress is definitely the right word for it. 
Yes. Really nothing. That's incredible. How would you say your time in theater has really like taught you? Um, I feel like it's taught me well. Some yeah. some experiences I'd rather not go back to, but oh. overall we're, we're good, we're good. Um, you were in the production of The Little Mermaid, right? Yes, I also, I've done Little Mermaid twice. I've done it at North Central a few years ago with our amazing music character was Kay. And then I also have done The Little Mermaid here when they did it in like 2016. I did it, I was in the Little Guppy Chorus in elementary school. Now I really want to get into more some, some more serious topics here. Like, do you think your time in theater has prepared you for the zombie world? I think most definitely, and I think when the zombie apocalypse comes, all the theater kids will be ready to take on something as tremendous as that because we have experience with zombies. Have you ever been told your eyes are closed? No. And it's just wonderful to come into them. No. Okay. Did your time doing theater as a kid like prepare you more for doing it as a teenager now? I think it's helped. And I'm trying to see if even this stuff now will help me in the future because this is kind of what I want to do. Like, I want to do theater in the future. I want to do like movies and stuff, but like theater as well. I think the past has helped me for now. What I'm doing now will help me in the future. Now, what specific skills do you think you've learned that will help with this one? We have learned how to conserve our energy. So, when we perform during techniques, and it's like 11 o'clock at night and we're all tired, you can still perform and give the best we can, so we definitely have those survival strategies. I just want to ask you, like in a hypothetical scenario, have we ever thought about running away mm -hmm. to maybe a private cabin in the woods? Honestly, that sounds like a mood. Maybe, like, yeah, maybe in Iowa. Why Iowa? Why specifically Iowa? Just to get away. No, not Iowa. So you wouldn't want to run away to Iowa? No. And do you have any advice for some people, maybe oncoming, incoming freshmen who yes. want to do theater, or just people who want to get out there? Um, well, I'll definitely say, even if it's scary, put yourself out there. Because I, I mean, I feel like I'm not the most introverted person, but I still get shy around people, especially people that I don't know. And I feel like it's helped, like, just going up to them and say, hi, I'm, I'm so-and-so, what's your name? And like just kind of starting that natural conversation. Do you think you could survive in like a Train to Busan or Last of Us situation when the zombies are fast? Probably not if they're fast. Okay. But so like Walking Dead, they're kind of slow. Yeah. Okay. Um. But let's think we're running with someone. If if you were to run away, let's say together, where would you want to run away together? New York. Okay, so New York, because the busy life just keeps you getting away. If we're being in like little groups, especially like in the early stuff, like be a leader, like put yourself out there, even if it's just smaller things, be kind to others, and like it, it will help you because the directors will notice it, and you will like, start being able to like be respect amongst your cast and you'll start just becoming friends with everyone. So assuming, no, this one's gonna get a little deeper. So your mother is trapped in a metal box and there's a bunch of zombies coming out. And your only way to save her is to run in and get her out. But if you do so, the zombies will most likely get you. Do you think you can do that based on your time as an actress? I think it's definitely possible. And yeah. it's a risk I'm willing to take because in the theater we're all about risks. So have you ever thought about a, a nice, a nice little wedding? Do you plan your wedding out? No. Really? You don't really depend on who you're with, you know? Like you're, yeah. Because you have to go how you feel is right with them. Yeah. So I... So like, would you want the person you're marrying to wear white? Huh? Would you want the person you're marrying to wear white? Depends. Because yeah. I just don't think I look good in white, so I don't know if we want to plan that out right now. <laughs> Thank you for your time. And the community is just so good that like you literally create a family for three months while you're doing the show and then you stay really close friends even after the show. So I'm still friends with a ton of people from last year's shows, from this year's shows. Like we're all just still super close and it has been a blessing to be friends with so many people, including Carter. <laughs> I'm amazing. Thank you. And Ina. And Ina.
love you, Ina. We do love you, Ina. <laughs> and Hannah, like, whose yeah. phone we're recording this on. <laughs> yes, right. Thank you, Hannah, for letting us borrow your phone. Okay, I think that wraps up the interview. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Now, assume the zombies have chainsaws and the intelligence to kill. How, how would you work around this? I... I would probably just find somewhere that maybe the chainsaws don't work. Like, unplug something, oh. and then just... Okay. Um, but what if there are Wi-Fi chainsaws that don't need to be plugged in? Well then, I'll go to the nearest Wi-Fi cell tower. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. We're gonna read a poem that we wrote together. I'm stressed. I have stage fright. I can see my future, and so it shall be done. It's total domination with some torture just for fun. Because I will have perfection, and I will have a queen. Once I get that crown on, you will get the guillotine. And I'll punish you, daddy, because I'm all grown up and bigger than you'll ever know. And you're gonna pay, daddy. It's, it's any day, daddy. I'm off to work. Hi, ho. So emotional. We really put that into this. We're so tired. I'm actually getting really big tears. My hands are dry.